We're not sure if we'll even perfectly tell this story. That's what's so scary about the Oregon Ducks. They're perfect. 29-0. Barbara Jordan, Darren Sutton, and you. Thanks for stopping by for some of these highlights. Let's talk about how good Katie Donovan was. She went the distance. In the end, she retired 10 in a row, and Katie took them to the house with those 10 in a row. She was outstanding. In the third inning, obviously, she had some trouble that she dealt with. There were bases loaded. She just gave up the one run, Barb. Gave up the one run, so she really settled in, getting out of that bases loaded jam. And the defense there for her, that's really when she got on the roll of 10 in a row. There, there was just one piece of big damage. It was Gwen Savekis, it was Mercado with a double, then Gwen with a homer. Well, Gwen comes up and just delivers a shot off the scoreboard in the first inning for a two-run lead. And really, the Ducks had the momentum for the rest of the game. Oh, Maggie Ballant, it was fun to watch her work. Maggie Ballant picked up her 13th win tonight. As a freshman, she knows how to hit her spots. She moves the ball, and she is not afraid to let her defense play behind her. There's a maturity to her approach. There is a confidence to her attack. And even when a pitch is called back, she jumped off the rubber early. Her defense is there for Danica Mercado, who has had a great series and has had a great year. Again. They're 29 and 0. They're balancing everything out perfectly. The Oregon Ducks will have the finale for you, 4 o'clock Mountain. And we'll do that one tomorrow. Looking for the sweep. Let's not forget how good the Utes have been this year as well. Jordan and Sutton. We'll see you next time at the Ball Yard. Peace.